Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be going over the Air Jordan 1 Low Reverse Bread colorway and I'm actually going to be talking about something that I did to improve the comfort for me. So stay tuned. These are the Air Jordan 1. A bit of history about this shoe. These were worn by Michael Jordan in 1985, I think. They were released as his first shoe. So it's the first model that Nike made for, for Michael Jordan. They're just like the classic color that Michael Jordan wore. The shoes that Michael Jordan actually wore might have been the reverse color of this shoe. So where the black is, it would have been red, and where the red is, it would have been black. But I was kind of just drawn to the color because it's just the classic red and black colorway with, with the white in the midsole. This is like the classic Jordan 1 sole. I guess when Michael Jordan was playing basketball, you would actually need a lot of distraction for stability and grip. It goes out from this central point, so you kind of probably pivot on that point when you're playing basketball. Very flat shoe, so you've got... You can see at the back, you've got the branding. Air Jordan, this one's stitched in, which is really nice, so it doesn't like rub off. They had special technology in them, which was kind of new for the time, which was the air unit in the, in the midsole, which is kind of there, I think. It's kind of like right under your heel. You don't really feel it much, but I think obviously like shoes, the technology nowadays with the boost in the Ultra Boost shoes and you know other foams that they have, it's a lot more comfortable now, but um, it's still, it still, it does make a difference. Like you, you can feel it a bit, I guess, but it's not a massive feeling of like cushioning. So anyway, that brings me to comfort. So the issue I had with these was like after wearing them for a day, they just get a bit uncomfortable and they're not super comfy compared to like my Ultra Boost and anything modern, uh, which makes sense because these are quite a normal shoe. But also I did notice that the insole for these are pretty messed up. So they have like a little bit of glue at the bottom of the insole, which is stuck to the, the inside of the shoe. Uh, they were a bit difficult to get out and I can show you what they look like. So here's an example. So they're really bad quality. They're really uncomfortable because they're, they're just quite thin. They have no padding. It's just very hard. And it's all the same thickness throughout the whole of the insole. It's kind of completely destroyed there because I kind of ripped it out. I took the old insole out and I had to scrape a bunch of it out. So you can see there's a tiny bit left. Um, and what I did was because there was already glue on the bottom of this inner, inner part of the sole, um, it was a bit sticky and I didn't want it to stick to my new insole that I'm going to put in there so I put some baby powder in there and just spread it around. You can't really see it that much anymore but like you can probably see on the sides it's a bit whiter on the sides. That's the baby powder. It won't harm your shoe I don't think. So I kind of replaced them with my Air Jordan 11 insoles so I can show you what's in there now. So as you can see it's like a very big difference. First of all it has arch support. Check out that arch support. There's a lot more there. It's much thicker and like pushing down on it, it's very squidgy. It made a lot of difference really, like replacing it. You can just slide in the new insole. And there you go. There you go. Uh, so I'm gonna do like an on foot as well, but basically this really improves the comfort of the, the shoe. Um, I feel like I can probably wear it the whole day and it won't be as painful for my feet. I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe.